Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A huge shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. If you want to become a Patreon or YouTube member to support the channel or even play with me on my server, click the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulator Ride Darkest Fools mod. So, um, if I sound a little bit tired, apologize. Uh, we've been having some power issues over here, and the power's out for like three, four hours just now. So I thought I wasn't gonna be able to record, which also reminds me why I started pre-recording in the first place for our series. Um, at the moment, I record the day before for the day of. So, say for example, Monday night I record for Tuesday. Tuesday night I record for Wednesday. That's how I'm doing it at the moment. But for the power going out just now, I just realized I need to actually do a little bit more than that. Otherwise, I might not be uh, able to have content when I need it. Okay, anyways, um, we're going to loot this place today. Okay, my power is back on again, but I was off asleep when I came back on. So, that's why I sound so tired. Okay, so we're going to put this on. Yes, nice. Okay, so we have steel on now. What do we have on as a helmet? This is a heavy armor 6. Heavy armor 10. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to take that off quickly. Modify. And put this one back on. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm also going to do, guys, is we're out of ammo with the shotgun. But I'm going to be using slugs. I also got to have the slugs. which is especially going to help against the ferals and any tough zombies that we might encounter over here. Now, since I think we haven't killed all the zombies down here, I just, I'm going to crawl. Um, also, I know that there's going to be some landmines and stuff still left over here. So, we want to crawl through this place as to not draw too much attention. And then, hopefully, we get lucky with some loot and stuff over here. Let me just do this. That's the first 11 or so. Um, I need to loot something of this building so I can actually set those slots. Set 11 slots over here. And hopefully you find some ammo as well so I can turn back to normal ammo should I really need to. But at the moment, guys, just with what we have, we should be able to clear this place now. Like I said, I think there's still one or two zombies in here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's feral radiated. So we just need to keep an eye open on those. And who knows, perhaps we're lucky, perhaps we've cleared out all the top ones at least and we can just loot some piece of here. But I just have this feeling there's still a zombie or two left of here. Okay, nice. First aid bandage. I'm first going to grab them and see if I can't, shouldn't read some of them from the belt. Because sometimes there's a glitch, guys. Sometimes you don't have to read from the belt. Other times you do have to read. So just so we don't have to worry about that later, I'm going to make sure we read all of them from the belt. I should probably... Okay, we've read that one already. I should probably either keep the gun on me or the frames on me. Let's do this. So then I can shoot or I can stack if I really needed to. Before reading, I should actually just see if there's any more zombies left over here. Otherwise, it might just surprise me. And seeing how hard these insanity zombies hit, we might be better off if I'm actually prepared. If I don't take a hit every sec every single episode. If I can get a whole episode, guys, without getting hit, it's going to be wonderful. At the moment, every time they hit me, I almost die. I mean, last episode, we didn't die at all. But we got insanely close to dying. The very first few minutes of the episode, I think we only had like 3 or 8 HP left. Okay, 8 skill points, thank you. No, I'm going to spend them now. If I spend them now, I don't have to worry about running out of points later. The health nut we have all the way up. Uh, parkour we also need to get. Reduced, okay, I need this one. I need to be able to jump that much higher. Oh, but first, 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 first. Um, scavenger. We have these that we need to get still for Lucky Looter. Um, this one we need to get for better deals from trader quests. And the other one we had was labor class, right? This one over here, it allows us to craft steel, crucibles, concrete mixer, and concrete. So technically we need this one and we need this one over here. Although we can already craft these, it's just going to help later on. Uh, let's see, use generator bank. And let's go for these. Um, I really need to go for the ones, other ones as well, but guys... With only getting one skill point every now and then, remember, in Darkest Falls, you level so much slower. So you have to really consider what you want to spend your points in. Um, so instead of going for just the basics that we need right now, I'm, I need to start thinking about the future. Being able to make cement mixes and other stuff for the base. Please tell me I got all the zombies up here at least. Who knows, perhaps the zombies that uh, were left yesterday aren't even from uh, this place. They were from downstairs, perhaps, or like outside. If that's the case, then I can run around over here without having to worry. 
I also need to watch out. There's still landmines and stuff downstairs, or rather on this uh, debris over here. So I can't just go running in there. Um, otherwise, I might just explode. It's going to suck if I survived all the zombies just to die from an explosion. You guys, look at all these schematics. Nice. I'm going to make sure we loot all of these before they get destroyed. I was really afraid that the zombies might actually start destroying these yesterday. That loot. I do have my like loot goggles on, so I should be getting the best loot right now. Although I don't really know if it matters with your schematics. I know with quality it might matter like with guns and stuff, but I don't know about schematics. Damn, I should really clear this place out before nightfall. But if I loot any faster, I might make too much noise and attract too much attention. Empty, empty, empty. Also, um, since I think there might be sleepers left, we just need to sa uh, listen if we can hear anything. If we can hear like snoring or sleeping or something, we know, okay, there's a still a sleeper left. But at the moment, I don't want to say there's no such sounds, but so far I haven't heard any of that sound. Okay, we can either jump down over here. There's, it seems to be so, a few boxes down there. So far, I haven't seen any other sleepers. So the top is at least clear. The nice thing is, guys, with all these schematics, we might be able to get that third class. If we can get at least, like, for example, the survivalist class, something like that, it's really, really going to help us out. I need to read all these schematics before we go downstairs so that I'm not so encumbered. But so far, it's looking really, really good for us. I don't think there's any landmines or anything over here. At least we should be able to climb on one of these ladders and get away from zombies. Or just stack up straight up like we used to do. That other lady that was here, we already killed. Oh, there's a landmine over there. But then again, during the uh, zombies that attacked us last episode, I saw quite a few zombies actually step on that over there. And it didn't explode. But with my luck, I just tried and then all of a sudden that's still a live landmine. And if that's the case, I, I don't. I really want to stop dying at the moment. Okay. Ooh, look at all these schematics. Damn. Okay, so I should probably just first clear this out. Um, it doesn't say anything about reading on your belt, right? I'm just gonna make sure. Wait, wait. This is already read. Okay, this one must be read from hot bar. Okay. See, some of these say that, others don't. But I don't want to take any chances and then not uh, not know that. Doesn't say anything about a hot bar. Scrap. This one is once again I can't see about. I'm just gonna go fast through it. If it says hot bar and I miss it, unfortunately that's just a thing. But if I, I don't, I really don't want to take time reading through all of this just to make sure it doesn't say hot bar. Hot gun. This one we already know. Thank you. Take it, guys. Look at this. We can sell it for 176. Although we really need the bundles first, the bundle notes, so I'll rather go for that instead. I thought we already read the steel one. Let me just do this every now and then to make sure it's actually taking over here. Sometimes when you read something, it doesn't take the first try and you get really unlucky. But that's just very rarely that that actually happens. Thank you, plaster, leather armor, butchering, plaster. Steel sledgehammer. Uh, iron, we already know. Pie bomb, thank you. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Scrap that one. Marksman's rifle, I could have sworn we already just read, but let's read it again. I mean, it does give you... Um, a pump shotgun again. We've already read that one. Just check. Pump. Shotgun. No, 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 no. Uh, shotgun. Shotgun weapons. Shotgun crafting. What does this say? Gun crafting level 2. Oh, okay. Because I don't have a point in there yet. It says I haven't read it yet. See, so that's a waste. That's something we can scrap as well. So I'm going to keep... I'm going to hold on to this for now. And then steel armor the same. We've already read that uh, before. If later I can just make sure I uh, invest a point in gun crafting, whatever. And then it shows that I've already read this. Then I can just scrap these. Steel tools as well. I think only one counts. Marksman's rifle as well. Uh, grenade schematic. I don't think we've read this one before. I'm really going to hate it if I was wrong about this. But I think we've definitely read some of these already. See, this as well. Mixer. 
zero out of one. This says we need level uh mining minus six uh, mining tools twenty, science crafting two, and science crafting is level one. We just read that book, but it says we haven't. So technically we can scrap it. And with this one, I don't know if we've actually read this one before, so I'll read it just one more time. And then we need space. We need a lot of space at the moment, especially if I'm going to keep these. You know what? I've already read them a few times, or one or two times at least, one of them. So I'm just going to make sure that that's like that. We have everything locked that's supposed to be locked. Okay. Now, Shamway boxes. What do you have for me? What is that? Something outside flickering. I hate stuff like that. <laughs> Guys, let's just hope there's no wandering wards coming for, uh, by. Hidden stash. Nice. Nice. Didn't even realize that's going to be hidden stash. But yeah, if there's a wandering ward passing by right now, after we've cleared this whole place as we just did so far, that's really going to suck for us. Nice. Okay, now we can put on the XP glasses, nerdy glasses. And go downstairs. I'm gonna. There's still some uh, bookcases downstairs that we can loot. But what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to take the staircase over here. Although we could, but there's landmines over here. I'm really afraid of accidentally stepping on one. So I want to see if we can't enter this place from the bottom. Please make sure that I don't step on a landmine. There's a tin can landmine right there. Technically, I just jump on that thing over there. Um, and then we'll be able to tell whether there's uh, zombies or not after we land on that box. But if we land on that box and all of a sudden a ton of zombies spawn in... That's going to suck. That's something we really need to stop from happening. So I'm just going to try and do this. See, there's a mutated bloated walker over there. Radiator bloated walker. 900 HP. Damn. He's stuck though. So if I can kill him without the rest noticing. Scrap, scrap. Scrap, scrap. Are you stuck? Oh, no, he's not stuck. Okay, so, if I can kill him... Wait, did I just wake up more zombies? It sounds like... Yeah, there you go. I thought so. Oh, these radiates need to come to me then. Yeah, come up the ladder if you want to. I'm just gonna stay right where I am right now. Oh crap, no, 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 don't do this to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna stand right here. The mutated one is at least damaged, so we don't have to worry too much. Come on, I really want to kill these zombies. At the moment, it's gonna be really, really tough though, because we don't have a ton of ammo. These ones have how much HP? 900? 902, and this one as well, 900, right? Damn, that's a ton of HP. If only we had more ammo. Um. Ooh, 0. 0.44 mag. I didn't even realize we picked this up. So we have a pipe rifle over here. We can actually kill that zombie with. At least, uh, less zombies we have to worry about, the better for us. Again, okay, now, I could technically take my frame down to there. But the zombies are going to figure that out really easily. Okay, um, no, that's bad. He's going to stand on that one that I left and then jump up to me. We can't afford for them to jump like that. Okay. You're going to stand right there. Please stand still. Come on. See, I'm, I'm wasting rounds because they move around too radically. If only he didn't move around so much, I would actually be able to do some serious damage to him. Anyway, uh, let's try the Magnum. Reload, 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 faster. Okay, I got his HP right really, really low. So if I can just keep on doing some headshots. Okay, nice. But that was a lot of shots just now. I should be able to kill two more of them. Oh, just one more of them at least. Uh, but which one? Which one? I'm going to have to draw them up here with me. There you go. Nice, you figured it out. If, if you can just come to me right now. I'm not going to waste any ammo at the moment. I should actually try and lower their health with this one and then kill them with this one. But we'll see how it works out. I need to get closer, but I'm just afraid that they'll be able to jump to me if I do so. 
Because these zombies can jump. Especially if they stand on top of each other's heads. Please try and step on that landmine. I have no idea whether that's actually a live landmine or not. Come on. Good shot. Body shot. Ooh, nice. Okay, I should be able to kill this last one. Only problem is, guys, we've made so much noise already. I'm not going to be surprised if a zombie just strolls through the door. Okay, now I need to lure him closer, but how? I could technically stand there because he shouldn't be able to jump to me right now. I'm not really afraid of all this noise we've been making so far. I wonder if these are the last ones or not. I mean, I've been firing... A gu I fired a gunshot downstairs, so they should have come for me. If they were really going to come for me. I see, that's not a live landmine. It would have exploded if he just stood there. Oh, crap. His HP was so low just now. No, this is messed up. His HP was really, really low. I wonder if I shouldn't go down and try and catch him. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's really that really sucks, guys. I was so close to killing him just now, and I already healed himself. I'm going to try and go down and kill him. This might kill me. But if we can kill him, we'll be safe. We'll be set. There you go. There you go. What are the chances of that happening? Please tell me that was the last zombies over here. As I need to stop moving too close to the mic. When I get so intense, my face is almost on the screen. And then I'm just, my mouth is past the mic. So because it's a one directional mic, it doesn't pick up all the noise that I'm making. Nice. Okay, so we just wasted a ton of ammo. Wait, is he... I don't know if he's actually going to be a problem or not. He might actually just land on our faces. Come on, before he actually sees us. Okay, now what's outside? We've made so much noise, zombies from outside could easily come in right now. As long as that's not a wandering horde, we should be safe. Even if it's a wandering horde, I wonder if I can actually lure them across the landmines over here. The fact that I hear more than one zombie approaching, that's what's bothering me right now. They sound slow enough. Okay, so let me just hope this is not a mistake. Please, Jean, don't die. We've gotten this far. Please don't die. Ooh, that's untouched. Oh, I should have had my lucky little goggles on. Okay, now we need to actually keep the ratchet on us as well to make sure we always get the best or can actually also wrench a few of these chairs. As it goes to show, just if you have one or two guns, how much more you can do in this game. We were so close to dying. Well, the first few episodes or first few days, we die so much because we don't have any guns. And as soon as we have like a shotgun or a magnum that we can rely on, all of a sudden it gets so much easier. I'm not saying it gets like easy, easy, but at least we don't die as often. Yeah, I need to make sure our levels... I, I want to see if our levels have increased or not again. I want to know if I can't quickly scrap a few things over here and also make sure we read those books. So, do we have a skill point? Yes. Um, that's going to go into... Cool crafting is already there. So, we need to go for gun crafting now. Be able to see which ones we've read and haven't read, right? All the ones that, uh, that says we've already done, I'm going to make sure that we just scrap them. But these ones, I'm really interested to see when it's going to show that these are done. So, shotgun. Gun crafting level 2. So, I just need one more skill point. One more skill point and it should show that we've already read it. I don't want to accidentally read stuff twice and then waste the potential to use it later. Another one of these... I think we're going to get a few of these. And remember, guys, schematics don't stack. or well, most of them don't stack. Um, so we might just have a problem with space at the moment. And hopefully we've cleared out all the zombies so we don't die from that. 
I just need more ammo as well, now that I think about it. I must make sure this is always reloaded, although one shot at a time is really not going to help us. These are breaching rounds, so it's also not going to help us. Only three shots left on this one. And this one's also empty, right? Yes. Okay, that's really, really bad. I need to outrun the zombies if there are any ferals or anything left. Just run back, stack up, and run away. I need to do this now to make sure the zombies don't get to me. Hopefully there's no dogs in here. If there are dogs over here, then we're going to have some issues. Oh, there's actually a bunker to this place as well. I'll check that out after we've looted everything on the uh, the bottom floor over here. Steel armor. Let me just check that one as well quickly to make sure. Steel armor. Crafting, zero out of all. But you can't read more than one. These you have to invest points in if I'm not mistaken. This says you have to have armor crafting level three. But yeah, it would actually unlock these as well if this ever counted because I've already read it more than once. Um, so I'm going to scrap that one as well. Later on, I might regret scrapping it, but we should get uh, come across more of these schematics later as well. But now I want to make sure we have as much as possible where we need it. Okay, cash. Ooh, nice. More special shipping. Oh, this is the room we would have fallen into if we went from upstairs. You guys, I think there's still going to be zombies downstairs, so we, ha we have to be really, really careful right now. I don't have enough wood to make any spikes. I really, wa I actually wanted to, before we enter this place, just go down and get some wood from a tree or something and make more spikes. Because at least then we'll be able to slow down the zombies even if it doesn't really kill them. I hear a wolf outside. Do this. This also leads downstairs. I just have this feeling there's going to be a ton of zombies down there. Um, I'm going to take the ladder down instead of just jumping down because I think that's going to be the safest. Wait. Oh, this is the downstairs. Okay, yeah. That, that makes sense. From a moment there, I was like, whoa, another secret room. But that's, we would have seen that anyways if we went uh, to the right instead of to the left just now. Nice. Level si Ooh, level 60 wrench. I'm actually getting good quality loot because of my lucky looter level. But it's still not the greatest of loot, if that makes sense. It's good, but not epic. But there shouldn't be any zombies left over here because we've cleared all of them out. And we fired a gun downstairs. So if there was, uh, was any sleepers out here, we, they would have responded already. I'm going to wear this now just in case we get some awesome loot. And then technically I need to wrench these catch registers as well. Remember, we play with loot we spawn off. So um, these are now useless and they're good for some electrical parts and perhaps even mechanical. Come on, give me stuff that I don't know yet. Like, for sure, don't know yet. Not stuff that I might have to keep for later, because we are getting a little bit encumbered for my taste. And we still don't have a bicycle, guys. We need those wheels. If I could get lucky with looting wheels somewhere... That's why I wonder if I should go for uh, Survivalist for the bigger backpack. Although, no. Um, at the moment, I don't think that matters, right? It's when you master that class that you get the bigger backpack. Only thing we can really gain from Survivalist right now is the watch. But, I mean... Since the zombies jog at night and there's ferals no matter what, I don't really need to go for survivalists. I can go from mechanic class and get myself a vehicle. And that's really going to help us because at least then we'll be able to move around and get stuff done. So yeah, that just made... I just made my mind up without even actually really making up my mind. We're going to try and go for that then. We really need a vehicle, a mode of transport over here. Please don't tell me there's any more like landmines or stuff down here i mean it's it's completely possible we need to watch out for that and i just realized ooh, 170 yes finally we have enough schematics wait what was that just oh i thought it was a zombie moving what it was it was a tree but yeah now we have enough schematics guys to go and make ourselves a new class i just need the writer writing desk and hopefully we don't die and lose our backpack right now because that's gonna suck all of this has been looted, right? The safe has been looted, I think. Could have sworn I saw a safe over here as well, but it was my imagination. Okay. Please, please, please don't tell me there's zombies downstairs as well. If there's just loot that we can loot, we don't have to worry about zombies, that's going to be awesome. If there's a ton of zombies we have to take care of, that's going to suck. Although, if they're not... 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna make a hole over here. I need an escape route. I just heard something moving. Just in case there's something downstairs, we can come up. We can, instead of running out the door, which may be too far away, we can duck and cover through this hole over here. Except if, if it's a dog or something chasing us, then we might have a problem. Okay, toilet, you have to go. Stamina. Oh, this is bad. My stamina is very low. Okay, so we need to make sure we are not encumbered or not too encumbered, which is tough right now. Um, this, that I need for some bacon and eggs. Oh, almost forgot I have food on me. And this fills us up very nicely, especially since it gives you 20 water and 20 food. And it gives you your stamina and stuff back. So I should have read, uh, I should have actually eaten that a long time ago. Okay, at least now our inventory is only 10 encumbered. Damn. That's actually still a lot if you think about it. Okay, I don't know if they're fast or not. What the hell? Please don't tell me that's going to be tough zombies. Okay, you can come here. I'm just going to stand in my hidey hole. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I didn't get the XP that I wanted right now, but at least I'm getting the loot from them. I'm so curious to see if there's any zombies left, but just now I step here as one climbs up. My bad timing, that's completely possible. Okay, it seems like there might be a ton of zombies still down here, guys. We need to be super, super careful with how we handle this right now. Um, There's a weapons bag right there, so I want to try and go get that. Let's see if we can't just place a few frames of it in the doorway, so they have to break through either the frames or something else to get to us. Like so. I think we've gotten all the zombies from down here, so now we just have to worry about the extended rooms over here. So, we're going to go for this one. We do have a shotgun shell over here, but I really don't want to waste my shotguns on zombies over here. I should actually try and see if I can't uh, lure them to the top and then take them out in that hole. And I can just do this. Thank you. If I fire one gun right now, they will come for me. Please don't tell me there's landmines down here. The only problem right now is we're a little bit encumbered, and because we're encumbered, we move slower. So we don't want to go and draw too much attention to ourselves, and we can't outrun the zombies. If we can't outrun these zombies, we are screwed. And it's not really like we can actually even go and hide on these over here. Well, we, could, we might be able to, but the problem with that is the fact that the zombies will be able to do so much damage to these so easily. Um, let me just try this quickly. And go on a ramp. Crouched. I should be able to go through there. Thank you. No landmines over here, right? This way you can actually see how many zombies are there. That is a radiated soldier. See, he's going to be the toughest to take down. But if I can uh, actually lure him to the top, that might be possible. Just one zombie. Oh, no. There's a zombie over there as well. Feral lost survivor. There you go, and I'm just going to get the attention of this one. And then in trying to kill this one, I'm going to have to use my shotgun. I shouldn't have picked up those frames just now. No, I didn't. I'm going to quickly shoot him with a shotgun. Oh, he can't fit through. I almost forgot about that. Since he's feral, or since he's... Oh, hello, snake. Um... I need to quickly skin the snake, and then I want to shoot him in his face to wake up all the zombies over here. Run, 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 run. Oh, I'm so glad that this uh, ladder wasn't broken earlier. It does seem like they're breaking this over here, though. That's kind of bad. Okay, now we need to make sure that the frames are normal frames, just in case we need to run away. Hello, lady. Yeah, I'm right here. I almost forgot that I'm here. Remember guys, these zombies can sometimes hit through the blocks, so you need to be careful of that. If they actually roll anywhere where we are, we might just have a problem. Oh no, they're breaking this. I 
I'm bleeding, I need to watch out for that. Oh no. Oh no, 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 run. Okay, there's a snake somewhere. Now, where's all these zombies? They're coming out over here. That was kind of bad. They just broke through there. That would have been really bad for me. So he's going to be tough to take out. He's going to be the toughest. But if I can take him out, then we're done with all the zombies down here. There's still loot down there. I just have this feeling there's going to be still some great loot down there. So if I can kill them, that's going to be epic. Unfortunately, we don't have any... Whoops. We don't have any spikes, so I can't slow down the zombies. If I could do that, that's, that would have been awesome. No, 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 no. Please don't jump out. Okay, I should probably first reload, but you can't reload when you're zoomed in. Come on, just one more shot. It's like the zombies don't know where to go. It seems though that it's just this one and the guy downstairs. I don't think there's any more zombies. I can just draw him into another hole that I created. That would be awesome. But I don't know where that would be. Okay, so shotgun, reload. Make sure I have two shots. Because as soon as I shoot him, I'm going to have to shoot him. Damn, it's a shame we don't have this left. If I can get him on his back, I'll shoot, jump down, shoot him with a shotgun, and then uh, hit him with a knife. Until then, I need to make sure I can actually just damage him. Actually hit him. Come on. It sucks watching a zombie healing himself after you've done so much damage to him. Unfortunately, sometimes, especially with a one-shot gun, it's just how it's going to be. Come on. Only thing that really sucks is because I'm zoomed in. Oops. I need to knock him down one more time. Because I'm zoomed in, I can't really reload all that fast. Come on. As soon as he gets knocked down now again, I need to... Oh, there you go. Um, shotgun. Oh, there you go. In the face. Is that zombie outside? I wonder what kind of zombie is it? Is it feral? Is it tough? I need to take care of this zombie first before I do anything else. Please don't tell me it's going to be a... Wait, is he downstairs? Yep, he's downstairs. I wonder what kind of zombies they are. Now that hole destroyed, this is going to be much, much, much tougher. I need to try and actually block that off. See if I can't quickly make a hole over here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. If I can make a hole of you, I should be safe enough to quickly take care of any other zombies that are coming for me. Although I might still bleed, so I need to be careful. I just, most of all, need to make sure we don't run out of stamina right now. I am infected, and we have been here a long time, so I have to hurry up now. There's grass downstairs, so there's definitely zombies downstairs. But I wonder if they're not stuck downstairs. It does sound like they're stuck in a hole or something. Do this. It bothers me though. It, it doesn't sound like the up here. Okay, bloated. Nice. Uh, it's this dude. He should bleed out, but let's just make that last shot. But there's a ton of mechanical parts over here, which is kind of cool. Oh, you are stuck. And there's a snake down there. You guys should probably first check if there's no zombies hidden over here. Feral putrid girl. See, now that's going to be bad for me. Uh, let's take care of him first. Oh, wow. She did not respond at all. The snake can stay down there. For now, I'm just want to worry about this girl over here. Any more zombies left? Ooh, that would have been bad. But if I can actually sway her around to that side, but then again, if she steps on that accidentally killing me, that's going to suck. Okay, so hopefully she doesn't hear me all the way back here. Let's just see if we can't open up these boxes. Hopefully that honey just now was enough to take care of my infection. Otherwise, this is going to suck. And there's so much scrap polymers down here. That's, uh, that's insane how much. Yeah, I don't have anything to slow it down, though. I literally have no ammo left. Well, I have 7.62 ammo here, but it's not going to be enough. 
I need to... Oh, wait. I might be able... Might be able to do this. If I can pull this off... There you go. I killed her. Nice. I should actually try and see if I can't kill that snake as well. That might be some free XP. But guys, look at all the resources down here. Uh, wait. Where's the soldier? Did the soldier wake up and come for me yet? No. Okay, no, this is bad. We're going to have to definitely take him up. Oh, crap. He's awake. Run, 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 run. Wait. Did he wake up now or not? Oh, he did. He definitely did. And there's a spider. I might be stuck over here now, guys. This is bad. Please, stamina, come back. Come back, come back, come back. He sounds like he's downstairs, which is good for us. I can just get this guy off guard. Oh, come for me, please. I really hope I can kill him before he glitches through the wall and kills me. Inside, get my stamina back, please. See, his HP is coming back as I'm hitting him over here. That sucks. Left click, left click, left click, left click, left click. That spider will be able to get me if he comes up here with the guard. I can't go back down there again, guys, because of the spider. Because I don't think I'll be able to kill him. The spider's trying to break through the iron, and at the moment, we don't have the ammo to kill him. He's breaking through there. How am I going to kill him unless I stand on the top somehow? I have no idea how I'm going to kill the spider now. And he's through, so he might actually try and jump now. If he manages to jump up here with us, we might just have a really bad time. If I can manage to get all these resources, it's really going to help us towards our goal. I need to kill him before he even breaks through that block over there. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time because he's going to move so much. And that just broke. That unfortunately just broke. We do have a level 4 over here that I should probably use. Anyway, let me just do this. Um, reload. It's better quality, so it should do a little bit more damage. Come on. Okay. Now, all the zombies down here should be dead. You agree, right? I don't think there's any zombies left. If they are, then we are screwed. It's locked. Um, I wonder if this isn't going to be faster. Like I said, if there's a zombie left now, they're going to hear this and they're going to attack us so fast. Nice. Ton of cash. This is really going to help us in the long run. I can go back to the base now and just make everything that I need to make. The next class quest, all that stuff. It's really, truly going to help us so much. Okay, all the scrap formers of here I really want to grab as well. Okay, now, where's that snake? That's bad. Oh, is he still in that hole? Is that the one in the hole? I think so, right? Yeah, he's still in the hole over there. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, so we should have enough stamina to quickly pick up all the resources here, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish picking up, up all of these. And then I'm going to go back to the base and just drop everything off. So, if you guys like this episode and think, wow, this was way better than usual, which I think it was. Um, leave a like and share with your friends. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of this content.